Hello everyone, don't be alarmed that you can't see me, but you can hear me. This story Tomo will be taken in a totally different direction. Instead of our usual jokey, somewhat true stories, we're going to take this in a slightly more Dungeons and Dragons direction. Through a series of random dice rolls, I have written a short adventure for me to go on that Andy will narrate. Andy, begin. The scene opens on a small clearing in Trusco Woods, a place that, as of late, has seen an uprising in monster appearances and kidnappings. In this clearing, we find an adventurer by the name of... Samajamor! Turd Muffin! Turd Muffin? If that's the name you really want, okay. We find Turd Muffin traveling through this clearing, apparently looking for some beast. The tracks are not fresh, however, so determining its direction has become difficult. That's not what I wrote. Well, I'm making it interesting, so shut up and go along with it. I'll keep your staple points in there. As for your adventure, man, it's bland. Did you write this while you are half asleep at work, or what? Just read on. Turd Muffin stops on the trail. He has found another print. This told him he was headed in the right direction. Yeah, and my adventure was boring. Out of the thick brush, two creatures jump out, and they're angry you stepped on their ancient land. Shit, okay, uh... I, I, I don't want to fight. That's funny, because they do. But I don't. They do? What are you going to do? I attack. You miss. Shit. They attack. I dodge. You fail. Damn it. Critical hit. I use a healing potion. You miss. How? They attack again. I dodge. You fail. Crap. Another critical. Crap. One HP left. Uh I attack again. You miss again. Shit. They attack. I dodge. You're so uncoordinated and so unaware of the terrain that you end up dodge rolling down a hill into some rapids which throw you against a rock and instantly kill you. This was a lot more fun in my head. This is a lot more fun when it's not scripted. This was a waste of a story, Tomo. A wild, stupid idea appears. I'm walking away. You fail. It latches onto your back. I'm not listening. You cover your ears in vain, but alas, it's already inside your head. I'm going to bed. That fails. The idea haunts you until you write it down. Forever stuck in your head to be an idea that you can't help but feel dumb about it as soon as it's on paper. 